Wow, have I got to show you this. So we're gonna get to the main room. I, like I said, I was gonna look it up. Um, I don't want to go. And I, I could not believe it. I, I went in the room several times. I passed it. Oh, and I, I. I also know what the boss is. I didn't look up how to fight him. I remember this boss though. Uh, I'll I'll try to show you how to fight him. Okay, watch this. First of all, we're gonna kill this. Oh. Ah. No, statue's gonna crush you. Okay, maybe not. So I'm gonna go to the left. I got, like, no hearts for this. It's okay. I'm gonna go down. Okay. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I messed this up. Okay, J just to be clear, you saw me go through that waterfall. Yep. <sighs> I don't... I... I don't remember how I did that as a kid. I really don't. Oh, now if you see those items, I want to go for them. Hoping they have health in there, you know. Well, you also notice I need a key. Oh, did you just see that guy? He just like, uh, oh, yep, we got the key. Ow. No, I guess having all those heart pieces didn't matter, but it's okay. Now we got the boss room down here. Now the real fight begins. Does it, does it, does. This guy isn't that hard, is he? Here's another trick I remember from the game. So, it'll take about 9 or 10 hits to kill him with the Master Sword. Use the Ice Rod. Little pro tip. Oh, 
Oh man, that was okay. That's the last time I'd be a, a smart person and say here's a pro tip and then just get wrecked. You know, I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to start making it a thing. Um, yeah, so I, I, I should get my health filled up. Right, well, I'll, I'll try fighting it one more time with the health I got, and if I fail, I'll, uh, I, I will figure something out. I'll probably just go get fairies or something. But, as I was going to say, I think I'm going to make it a thing before I go into dungeons. Is I'm going to start getting, if not fairies, medicine, you know, something. You know, something. I mean, something so this doesn't, doesn't happen, but, I mean, you know, my, my motto on video editing... Okay, admittedly. Oh, heart piece. Oh, I need that now. I need that. Okay, I'm sorry, but um, my my motto on video editing is well, I'm, I'm not the greatest at it. Um, I'm not doing that too much, and I. I know some people are going to say I'm lazy, that, oh, you're not cutting that stuff out, why not? You know, if everyone edits their videos. Why can't I be the one guy that does them? Actually, I want to check up here. Now that everything's unlocked, I might have an easier time. Let's see if, I, if there's anything neat in here. Oh, heart pieces! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see. Okay, okay. I, I could do this. I could do this. Let's not get hit by that. Let's get Mr. Hookshot ready. Let's do this. So you don't want to be too greedy, you know, you get a couple of them, and you just move. So you don't you don't want to pull them like I just did into that back corner. It'll severely mess you up. again, because I know where I can get health, so... But, um... Sorry, try not to say um all the time. Yeah, so... Like, you really... Keep the hook shot equipped. You really want to... Watch out, like when you first come into a room, I've I'm learning that you generally don't want to sit in like that doorway area to do your stuff. I 
want to, you know, to attack, that sort of thing. I don't know why, but you notice there, I didn't, I didn't catch it right away, but I should have. I was sitting where I originally, uh, came in at. And, I mean, that was, you know, that, that was no good. Because those little, those little floaty thingies were spawning right on top of me, right? So, I don't know. That's funny, it just kind of knocked me into it. So, generally, I'm going to try to avoid that, that area. I, I'm not sure why it does that. I'm not sure if it's a limitation of, like, the game, or it... I mean, it's not... I, don't, I wouldn't say it was a developer oversight. Uh, maybe they just didn't intend you to stand in a corner like that. We're going to go up here and get some more toys, though. Come on. There we go. Now, if you notice this stuff is respawning, it's generally staying the same. Uh -huh. Arrow. I got max health, I got max bombs. I don't have max money. I actually don't know what the max money is. I'd imagine being an older game, it'd be 999. As a thought. Okay. Let's see? They're not, they're not like, getting me. I'm just going to try to avoid that back area. Much smoother now. Maybe it's... No, you know what? It's the direction I'm facing. See, I was standing this way, and they were hitting me. I stand this way, this... Oh, that's, that's weird, actually. I got a heart piece. We got this... We got the second... Maiden. is just starting to go away, so my voice is coming back, so I'll start constantly narrating this. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wis wishes of whoever, whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. I thought he was a wizard. Okay. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the light world. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By visiting them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the dark world. You're the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, 
Ganon, the King of Darkness. Do you understand? Yeah. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that will be this episode. Next episode, we're going to do some exploring. So, I will see you all then, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. It seems to be our third time was the charm.